Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlogs. Just getting started. Guys are going to be finishing up on the Vantage today. Get some after shots of that. Uh, Porsche 911 Turbo is all done. We've got to put on the badge. Last step, put on the badge. We'll bring that outside. Do some nice afters of that. We're going to be working on the Porsche Boxster, continuing doing paint correction. And then we'll be doing a coating on that one. The Audi A6. That one's done with the paint correction. We're gonna wipe it down, bring it into the clean room. Uh, wheels were coated yesterday. Finish the coating on that. That'll be all done. It is Friday, so we're gonna get all this stuff out of here. And uh, we'll do it all again next week, so enjoy the episode. This is a glued? This is a new one? Yeah, this is ready. This is good. Okay. I can't. It, they never fit. Why? Uh, I don't know. It just never fits properly. I want it to fit. Mm mm. The same BK. Can't have it your way. <laughs> All right, will you throw that on, please? Yeah. What else we got left on <laughs> this guy? Uh, just little pieces. Uh, oh, just random individual pieces here and there. Oh boy, looking brand new. Feel brand new. You look brand new. Thanks, baby. Jose, I'm thinking we don't have another car to do like a day kind of thing that we've been doing. Maybe we do it for a window tent car. Maybe you can have Gustavo say like, today, I'm gonna teach you how to tint. Hello, my name is Gustavo. I wanna hear you get excited. Just say, what's up everybody, I'm Gustavo. Okay. He's Ready? not gonna do it. What's up everybody, I'm Gustavo. We have here a 2019 Ford Mustang 5.0 in for tint today, and I'm gonna teach you how to tint it. That was pretty good. That was good. Yeah. That was good. Woo -woo. Okay. First thing is first, I gotta eat my Dunkin' Donuts. Yesterday we finished up the whole compounding pretty much except for the rear bumper. And then this morning when we came in, all we had to do was basically do the rear bumper, polish the rest of the car, and it should be good for coating. This Porsche Boxster came into the shop with some buffer trails left over from another detailer. Unfortunately, we see this all too often. But the car is now in good hands and we're gonna make this baby shine. Alrighty. One of the first things we have to do when the car comes in right away is we got a GoPro the whole thing. Exterior and interior and all the glass just to make sure there's no damage. While Jose's GoPro in the vehicle, I'm gonna be looking up the car and the software and then loading up the film and the plotter and getting everything ready to go so we can tint the car. Jose, my assistant over there, is prepping all the glass and getting it cleaned for us to lay the film on there and install it so there's no contamination. All right, now follow me. We're going to the board so I can cut out all the film out so Jose can install it. There's like little pre-cuts in here, so I gotta cut around them and then peel around the edge, and then that's my window, pretty much. Nice. 
camero tengo la mitad si quieres grabarle ahí y aquí ahí ya está de los de dos líneas para allá uno dos tres cuatro Uh, pretty much right now I'm gonna put dryer sheet on the back window so I can put the back window on and mold it. And the dryer sheet pretty much helps for the film not to stick to the glass so my hard card can easily slide on there and I don't get any creases. So I just like to clean the edge part in case my film touches it. And that's it. And then now I just gotta let it dry a couple minutes and then I'll put my film on. But while that's drying, I'll be putting on the doors and molding them. Well, pretty much what's next is to, well, Jose already raised the blade of the windows, so it's pretty clean from that, but I'm just gonna scrubby pan it one more time and then install the film. I'm scrubbing pretty hard too, cause I wanna make sure there's still some stuff left that get it off. I also like to spray my edges, like in here, scrub them out, the bottom, scrub it out just in case there's like dirt in there. I wanna saw that out. And then I'll wipe off the door on anything that falls on it. And then now I'm cleaning off my top edge. Cause sometimes there's always like little dirt on these edges. So I'll go and just clean the edges. I'll flush the sides out, flush the bottom out. And then I'll probably squeeze it one more time and then install it and then we're good to go. All right, well this window's done and you just saw me do the steps. So, and pretty much for these four windows right here, it's pretty much the same steps clean them, install them, mold them a bit. But for the back window, it's different. That takes a little more time, and we'll do that right now. <laughs> uh, I'm making a pad cleaning board. This is a bunch of Velcro so we can stick the pads on this and then use a pressure washer to clean it. Trying to Arts make, and crafts. Trying to make it a little easier to clean the pads. Uh, so right now they just take the pad and put it on a ground. We actually have like an old um, WeatherTech. WeatherTech mat that they put it on and then they have to like bend over or hold it and pressure wash all the old compound residue and polish residue out. I'm hoping this can, you can stick like, you know, 30 pads on here and then use the pressure washer and just do it, just stick them all to it and then pressure wash them out. E-Man and Andrew just finished up the PPF on the Aston. Aston? Austin? Aust Aston? Austin? Why do I want to call it Austin? Aston. E-Man and Andrew just finished up the PPF on the Aston Martin Vantage. Now we got to do an exterior enhancement and BCO6 on the rims.
All right, let's start it, Jose. So pretty much me and Jose are gonna start molding the back window, just so the film can grab the shape of the, the window. And this part takes time. You don't wanna rush it, because it's a big piece of glass. You could crease it very fast, so you gotta take your time. Mold it right so you don't get fingers at the bottom. Well, now we're gonna spray it so it can cool down. Just pass our hand on the outside and then make sure all the dirt that's on top falls off. And then we'll squeegee it because we want it really clean. We don't want anything to fall into it. Now we're gonna expose the inside of the film. And a step like this, you kind of want to go fast because there's like dust in the air and you don't want it falling in. All right, so now we're just gonna squeegee it one more time and then put it in. And that's pretty much it. And then I'll just snap my finger and then it'll just be done. Imagine that. One, two, three. Oh, damn. Damn, it worked. It's done? Woo! Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Time for the Audi to get coated. We're putting Modessa BCO8 on all the painted surfaces. I wonder if I snap my finger again and the car will be clean. Ooh. Hey, E. When Jason came to talk to me, I was already aware of the situation. We're a big shop and things do happen. We try to make everything go as perfect as possible, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. We have a problem. Yeah, I heard. Huh? I heard. This is not. So here's what happened. I left a small piece of PPF on the windshield. When I took it off, it left a small strip of uh, adhesive left behind. Uh, when I brought it back over to the detailers, they noticed this fine little scratch. Jason walked over, he saw, he freaked out, he thought somebody scratched it. He ran over to me, he told me exactly what he was thinking. I freaked out, I ran over here, and then I knew exactly what it was. I started rubbing it off, and luckily, everything was fixed, problem averted. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's from the paper being on top of it, when we need it on top. Let's just get a fucking group hug over here real quick. Come on, come on. Let's, let's hug this one out. Oh my fucking god, dude. Y'all fucking stressing me out. That's yeah. adhesive? Yeah, because when I'm doing the mirrors, I just... You could feel it. Like I was scratching it. You could yeah, feel it. Like, god damn it. You can feel the finger now. Holy No, it's adhesive. We're good. I feel so much better now. Dude, I feel so much better. <laughs> oh, thank god. All right, let's go to fucking lunch. All right, lots we gotta get done. We gotta get the Boxster done today. We gotta get this X5 done today. We have to get the Vantage done today. Audi A6 is done. I just gotta look at that one, check it over. Um, and then we have like six washes in the afternoon coming. So, busy afternoon.
feel the wrath. What's going on? Uh, the Essen Martin, is that done? Yes, it rains. Just, yet. just the wheels? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... En enhancements done? You just need wheels only? Everything okay. done. Alright, just wheels? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Chris and Juan just finished up the paint correction on the Porsche Boxster. It's now time to pull it in the clean room and get it coated. I guess that's it. See you next time. Jesus. Wow. That's insane. Dude, the wheels alone are... Wow. On the next episode, 